So I have had more than enough. This is what, they started my shower. My cousin originally started it last Tuesday. It's now Wednesday. It's been nine days. He got nothing done, fired him, got some other people in. They messed up the shower pan, I redid it. Hired a third group of people. All the tiles are crooked. It does not look good talking about, no. They clearly have never done this before. They're figuring out as it goes. So now they're fired. Three sets of people fired in nine days. I'm gonna go buy a saw and I'm going to finish this shower and this bathtub myself because this is ridiculous. My work area, moving this stuff out of the way. I look absolutely crazy, but I'm not playing no games in here. I'm about to get this shower done tonight. I almost have the saw together. Everything is plasticed up and I am about to start the tile. I have one issue fixed, which is this board was uneven, so there was more space in some parts than the other. I had to take all the screws out, hit it against even, and now that's even. Now I'm going to fix how these boards are cut uneven. As you see, this is like going over the side. The tile won't lay flat. All this is crooked. I'm about to fix these. We are getting somewhere. So everything is ready to start the tile for real, for real. All this is now cut smooth. The bathtub is level, so the tile will make a nice, perfect ledge. And I'm super excited, ready to start cutting some tile. <laughs> Since I don't have sheetrock long enough, I'm gonna have to cut four different pieces for the two strips for my ceiling. Have to be creative, these measurements will work. So I have like an issue with my drain, I'm gonna explain why. The people that were gonna install the tile that did this back wall that doesn't look good they put in this shower pan, which is like a rubber mat, right? They said to seal the flange down in the concrete underneath, and then you put the tile on the rubber. I was like, that does not seem correct, and I'm glad I looked it up, because you're actually supposed to put more concrete, like um, four to one cement mix sand on top of this drain. But this rubber is supposed to go under the flange. The flange is what holds the rubber down onto this. This is my third day working on this shower. By the way, all the wall tile is done. So when you get the mortar done, how to tell it's correct is if it's level all the way around, so your bubble needs to be straight in all four corners. And then when you set it down at an angle from the corner to the drain, the bubble is supposed to be more on this side. So that means you have a downward slope. So you want a downward slope in all these corners. The shower is getting so close to ready. I just laid another layer of mortar cement on the floor. So now I just have to put the shower tile down once this dries in 24 hours and then grout this. This mortar is pretty much dry. I am going to tile this shower. Yes, it's in the plastic containers now. But yeah, I'm about to work on this now. Everything is laid out and ready for cut, so all these have to be cut in half to go in each of these corners. About to get creative and use this wet saw to cut the drain circle. Oh God, it did work, wow. Still gotta smooth this piece out. This tile is hard. It's starting to get smooth. What do you know? They fit. And they're not like perfect, but the grout, they're not lined up correctly, but the grout will fill it in and you won't notice the little imperfections. Not bad. 
This is a very exciting moment. For one, I just took the last shower I have to take in my guest bathroom down the hall. But my glass came today, so my door, my side wall is on. And I am finally putting stuff in my shower. Super exciting, I know. And by the way, my shampoo and stuff fits perfectly. It was not by accident. I measured my largest containers before building the shelves. <laughs> 